Welcome to Matlock Bath, a small village in the middle of Derbyshire, known as the seaside without the sea. It's known for its fish and chip shops, amusements and aquarium. But one thing it's also known for is its fantastic illuminations. During September and October of every year, Matlock Bath is transformed into a hive of wonder and illumination with an illuminated boat parade which goes up and down the River Derwent. So join us as we take a peek behind the scenes as Matlock Bath lights up the Derwent. Illuminated boats have been parading up and down this stretch of the Derwent from as far back as 1897. They were first held to celebrate Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee. Back then, however, the boats were using tea light candles. And there's even a model that's still decorated in this traditional style today. Then came the torchlight bulbs. Thousands of tiny light bulbs soldered together. But after that, the times they do change. And now LED strip lights are used to light the way down the Derwent. And that's what's being used again by this year's boat builders. The boat builders are all local to Derbyshire, and this year's models are by far some of the best we've seen on the Derwent, which is why it makes this competition so hard to judge. This year's models are Wrecker, a crouch recovery vehicle, a music box of a hidden surprise, Peppa Pig's car, the Disney castle, Fred Flintstone's car, Jet, the Jubilee Beacon of Life, Wallace and Gromit's rocket, and of course the Vulcan Bomber. And as the lights begin to dim here in Matlock Bath, it's time for the boats to get ready. And so does the fun fair. Hall's fun fair is a staple of the event, and the Hall family are part of the fixtures and fittings of Matlock Bath. And you can't walk far down the promenade before you find one of the family's many shops. And there's just time tonight to test the fun fair before the punters begin to arrive. This year, the Derwent Gardens have been stunningly transformed into a wonderland of lights, with thousands of bulbs lining the banks of the Derwent. And there's an array of colour changing lights and set pieces scattered throughout the gardens. And as the daylight begins to fade, and the crowds begin to flock in to take their rides on the fun fair and see this fantastic display of lights. The parade of illuminated and decorated boats are about to take to the river. And this year's youngest boat builder is Taylor from Ashbourne. Taylor, tell us all about your model. So this year I've built Jack from Sea Points, which is a aeroplane. And the idea occurred to me through my cousin Phoebe, um, because she likes watching it and I just thought, well, it's a good idea and I'll do it for her. I think it took about four or five months to, because we started and then we had to paper mache, wait for it to dry and put all the lights on. And this year, thanks to all his hard work, Taylor walked away with the Compare Shield. And another veteran boat builder who won a prize this year was Paul Henshaw, who came third for his model. My model this year is Peppa Pig, and when Boris Johnson did that really poor speech about Peppa Pig, I thought, that's an idea for my boat. What makes it fun? Well, it's such a good, it's such a good laugh, really. It's really funny watching everybody, how they go on and do things. Uh, I really enjoy it, something I've always done, something I look forward to. It's one of the main events of the year. And this year's first prize went to Ian Page. Ian, tell us all about your first prize model. This year's model is Disney Castle, based on 50 years, celebrating Disney's castle that they built in 2020. And it's got well over a thousand LED lights on, and fireworks, and obviously it has a little Tinkerbell at the top. I was quite shocked really, when I was told I'd got first. 
took nine months to complete. I've been doing it since uh, I was 23, so uh, it's nearly 38 years I've been involved now. Yeah. So it's a real good project and I enjoy what to do and uh, I do it to keep an old tradition going here in Matlock Bath. This year's fourth prize winner was David Gregory for his Wallace and Gromit inspired model. Well, we work as a team. We're, we're known as the Motley Bunch and uh, we sort of have meetings and, and try to think of something that nobody else has done. This year's model is a, uh, uh, a musical box but one with a twist. So it's all nice and lovely until it opens up and then Pennywise the Clown appears. I think it's, it's, it's truly to, to give pleasure to the people down here and to keep the tradition alive. Um, when you, you row in the boat along the river and you see the people on the river bank who are really enjoying what you're doing then uh, it makes it all worthwhile, it's certainly not for the money. The Music Box won the Motley Bunch the second prize cup. And let me tell you, this model is perfect for Halloween. Another staple of the boat building team is David Harrison. And this year, his model may be able to help the lads if they get stuck. It's a crouch recovery wrecker truck, heavy wrecker truck. And the idea came from Taylor, one of the other competitors, my nephew. I don't know, just the, the whole atmosphere, the keeping the event alive. And, yeah, just yeah. If I didn't do this, what would I do? Sit on the sofa. As the season now draws to a close, I wonder if some of the boat builders have thought about what they might do next year. Got an idea for next year? I have thought. And I can't see them yet. This tradition really does keep the village going. And it's an amazing sight to see. So if you've never visited the Illuminations before, what are you waiting for? Why don't you pop down to the Derwent and see us next year?